There are several different recording options found within Cakewalk by BandLab, and they can be easily accessed by going up to the transport and right-clicking on the red record button. This will then open up your preferences menu, where you can select three different recording modes. Comping, which has been covered in a previous video of mine that you'll find in this playlist, or also in a link that I'll include in the description of this video. Overwrite, and Sound on Sound. Play around with each one of these different recording modes and find out which one works best for you in any given situation. For this particular tutorial, we're going to use Sound on Sound as I'm going to show how to do a punch and roll, which is predominantly used in voiceover work, but is also beneficial when recording guitar tracks, vocal takes, or anything else that might require a quick fix. So in order to begin the punch and roll method, I'm going to go ahead and click Sound on Sound and click the Apply button. Now I can close this. If you'd like to access the same preferences menu without actually having to go up here and right click on this, you can also simply hit the P button on your keyboard. That will also open up the same preferences menu. Now I'm going to insert a track. Let's make this a mono track. And in order to begin recording, I'm going to have to arm the track. So I'm going to click this red record button here. As you can see, my voice is coming through and is being picked up on the meter here. I'm now going to record a short phrase, and then I'm going to show you how you can fix inconsistencies within that phrase by using the punch and roll method. The first thing that I want to do though, however, is make sure that my metronome is set to being off while recording. So I'll click this button here. Now I'm going to hit record. It's already in the sound on sound record mode. Far over the misty mountains cold, to dungeons deep and caverns old, we must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. Okay, so now I have a take. Far over the misty mountains cold, to dungeons deep and caverns old, we must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. Now I noticed one of the inconsistencies was that on the word pale, I had a little bit of a pop, as my pop filter didn't do its job. So using the punch and roll method, I simply just delete that portion of audio that I've just recorded. I set the transport bar to just before that portion, and hit record again. We must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. Now, when clicking on the area that I just recorded, it will show everything that was recorded up until that point as well. So I can simply click and drag this from the left to the right and create an automatic crossfade into the new clip. Take a listen. We must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. That was much better. There was no plosives in that P. Now there are other ways that I could do this, however. If I was to go back, I'll hit Control Z to undo those options. I can also go up here to the punch menu and set automatic punch in and punch out times. One easy way to do this is to simply highlight the selected area, hold the shift button, and hit the L button. This will set a loop. Now this portion will loop from point A to point B infinitely until I tell it to stop. I can set my punch time here. by clicking it, dragging it over to this point. So now I have a loop option here where it's going to keep looping back until I get a take that I like and I have an auto punch right here. Now before I begin recording I'm going to want to ensure that my loop points are set properly making sure that this will start before that beginning of that phrase and end after the end of the last phrase. Also, my punch bar needs to be set accordingly as well. This should give me ample time to come in, and by setting it just a little after, give me ample time to go out. Now for this particular method of punch and roll recording, sound on sound may not be the best option, as I'm going to hear the track underneath as I'm trying to talk on top of it. So the other two recording modes are definitely more viable options. For instance, on overwrite, if I was to select this and hit record, it's automatically going to delete the section here and allow me to record a new section. We must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. And then I can simply create my crossfades and everything's fine. 
We must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. However, this also may not be what you're looking for. So, the other option is also to use the comping. This way, you can ensure that you get the best of the takes and you can re-record several times to make sure that your inflections are proper. Each new recording is then stored in a new take lane that you'll find here. Now, when using the comping mode, I'm still gonna hear the audio that's underneath of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this section and simply re-record in the new comp. We must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. We must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. We must away ere break of day to seek the pale enchanted gold. We must now I can go through each one of those takes that I just had and audition to see which one of them I like best. And there you have it. There's a quick tutorial on using punch and roll recording within Cakewalk by BandLab. Like I said, this can be very beneficial for voiceover recording as well as for recording guitar parts, vocals, pretty much anything. By utilizing this method properly, you can actually cut down your recording time in half. For instance, if you just recorded a guitar solo and maybe there's just 15 seconds of that solo that you didn't like, you can simply punch in a new 15 seconds and pick up where you left off. Which definitely beats the other option of recording the same guitar solo that might be 3 minutes long 57 times. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, let me know by liking, subscribing to the channel, clicking on that bell icon to make sure that you're the first to know when a new video is uploaded, and of course, as always, share this with your friends. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you all later.